Hey groups, good to see you all again. I'm so excited to continue our series in relationship to others. Um, and I hope you've been able to start going through the book of Colossians and starting to get those words on your heart. Uh, but going to jump right into today. Uh, this second week in our series talks specifically about spouses. Um, and whether or not that gives you a good image of what marriage looks like. May, some of you I know have maybe had hard marriages and the idea of a spouse and how to treat a spouse is difficult. Um, but I hope that as we go into some of these questions, that you take yourself a bit out of the equation and think about how we need to be treating our relationships based on what God says. So um, take the sinful de desires, the sinful natures out of our lives, and let's just focus on the Word of God for the next little bit here and be able to have some conversations with each other. So what you'll find is in the group's questions this week, it's a little bit different. Um, there, it's actually split between those of us who are married and those who are not married yet you would say they're maybe single, ready to mingle, or not ready to mingle at all. That's up to you. <laughs> but what you'll find is there's two different groups of questions. So I'll ask um, three for those of you who are married, and then three for those who are not married. And if you got a little bit of both in each group, uh, spend some time, allow each other uh, to answer these questions, and I am excited for your conversations today. So the first question is this, for those of you who are single, what are the things you are looking for in your future spouse? Question number two, um, what characteristic does your ideal spouse have? Um, and would that person, this, this is always a question that is, uh, the response is interesting to me. Would that person who you've just described, those characteristics, those perfect person, would that person be looking for someone like you with the characters that you might have? Question number three, uh, if you guys could read Colossians 3, 5 through 9, um, and then answer this question. Uh, which of these do you think you need to leave behind? Um, which of these characteristics that you, just that you just read, what are those characteristics you just need to leave behind and get rid of that old life? Question number four, um, and first start off by reading Colossians 3, 12 through 14. Um, which of these traits do you want to add a little bit more into of your life? Um, and maybe speak on how God has been able to grow some of these characteristics um, that, that we've started off with some and God's been able to work through us to get these to shine a bit brighter. So talk about those. All right, for those of you who are married, these next questions are for you. The first one is this. How did you and your spouse meet? Question number two. What characteristics about that person did you fall in love with? And have those characteristics grown throughout your marriage? Our group's questions three and four are going to sound very similar to those uh, that, for those of you who are single too, so, um, but I think as married couples, we can answer this in the very same way. It says this, so read Colossians 3, 5 through 9 first, um, and then think about which of these characteristics did God point out in your life that's asking you to leave behind, that, that you should leave behind in your own life, your old life. And then question number four, read Colossians 3, 12 through 14. Um, which of these do you want to grow in? Which do you feel like God is saying, this is one I need you to start excelling in because um, our relationships matter. So what are you going to start spending some time in?
Question number five, and this is back for everybody again. Uh, what you'll see on the side of the sheets is a few different Proverbs. I want you to quick read those a minute. Um, but we're told in those verses that a spouse who loves the Lord is a gift from God. Um, and I want you to be intentional about this next piece. What is one way that you can love the Lord this week? Um, how can we strive to be a spouse that is truly a gift from God? And if we believe a gift from God is coming from loving the Lord, what does that look like in our lives? And then the last question, six and seven. Um, just talk about if there's anything that stuck up stuck out to you guys in devotions or in the message this week. Um, we love to just be able to hear how God is working in your life, even if it's not from these questions. Um, and then make sure that you gather and ask uh, if anyone has prayer requests. Uh, we believe strongly in the power of prayer, and we know that matters so much in the group. So um, after you've done that, if you do have some time and want to check out the Digging Deeper section, um, I want to encourage you, for those of you who listened to the message this past week, um, Eric ended this in the teaching with this strong challenge and I want to bring it back to that and maybe maybe you're still thinking about that challenge the challenge is this what is your next step in obeying God um, and I hope that you're not just oh man th this is just coming back to my mind I want to challenge you guys what what does that actually look like I think um, I think this piece has some accountability, um, so I strongly encourage you, if you have some time, jump into that and have some further conversation with your group. Until next time, hey, have a great week, and we'll see you soon.